All right, my friends, welcome back to this uh, Starfleet 2 tutorial series I'm making. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm a little nervous doing these, I'm going to be honest, because I've never done a tutorial before, so I'm very rusty. I'm, very, I'm not even rusty. I'm inexperienced at this, but I'm going to try and cover everything. So, um, at the end of the last tutorial, I showed you the basics of the helm. Um, the maps, you know, the system map, nav map, war map. Today we're going to, uh, today I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to move around because it was confusing as hell to me as for, at first. Um, so I'm going to give you my own tutorial about moving around. And then the, in the next part, we're going to cover, the, the game has eight tutorials. And the next part, we're going to do the basic navigation uh, tutorial. But I wanted to do my own tutorial first to kind of show you uh, how things work. So navigation is most of the time a two-part, uh, multi-part process. There are two things you have to set: the regional, uh, regional target and the system target. So what I mean by that is, say we go to the nav map. Um, oh, all right, there we go to the nav map, and say we want to go here. All right, they want to go there. So use your targeter, which we already have selected. We're going to hit enter. And that's going to give us our first target, which is that star system. That's target one. And we can change the velocity if we want to. Um, I believe it's plus and I don't remember how to do that. I think it's plus and minus. I don't remember. Um, but you usually don't have to touch that. So we're going to set our velocity. We're going to set our target as that star system. And then you set a target within the system. Now, you never know what's going to be here. See the big question mark? You always want to set course for the system's edge. It could be any edge. I always go over this one. I don't know why. But it could be any edge. Uh, it could be this edge. It could be that edge. Uh, but if there's nothing here, you don't want to muck around trying to leave the system to go to another one. So uh, uh, you usually always set your course for the system's edge. And that's your second target. Now you have two targets, and if you go here to the targets thing, you see you have two targets. Region system, you, you have your region tar regional target, which is the system. Then you have your system target, which is the X, Y coordinates in that particular system. So now that we have set our targets, we can hit F9 to start our engines. Again, you can turn the engine sound off if you want to. I like it on. I like knowing the engines are working. And uh, the, the game always sets course for the closest edge of the system before engaging uh, its hyperdrive, your hyperdrive. Now we're in hyperspace. You get your pretty little rainbow thing, you know, while you're moving through hyperspace. All right, and now we're setting a course for the edge of the system, which we have done. Now we're at the edge of the system. So we can look at the system. There's nothing here. There's no other reason to stay around here. Um, so we're going to move to another system. Because we've set our course for the edge of the system, there's going to be no time to kick in the hyperdrive uh, when we leave. Um, so another thing I wanted to show you that you're going to be spending a lot of time doing in the nav map is probes. See that? See the P right there? You're going to be doing a lot of probing. Uh, and that's true at any part of the game. So I'm going to show you how probes work real quick while we move to another system. So with probes, you need to set a target. And probes have a range of five. You see the distance there? Five? That's a distance of five um, stellar units, whatever that is. So we can send, you can, uh, you can set up to five probes at once. So one, two, three. Okay, so we have five systems here that we can technically send probes to. Um, so we're going to send probes to five systems. So we're going to send our first probe there. Launch control. Probe one is launched. Operations is something you get later with an upgraded battle cruiser. You don't have that in the early stages of the game. So we're still in we're still in the probe sector. So we select a new target. Launch control. We can hit the number two and launch. And then we'll move to the next uh, system. Launch control. Number three, launch. And then we can move to the next system. Launch control. Number four, launch. 
And then one more. Launch. Five. Launch. And if you don't remember where you launched probes, you can go into the launch control and hit T. And as you see, it shows you all your targets. Now, while those probes are moving and doing their thing, we're gonna go to another system real quick. We're gonna go here. Um, so we have to exit out of the probe thing. Uh, you're still on the map. You hit targeter once again. Bump a dump a dump. I'm trying to find a system with a planet so I can show you another thing. Uh, edge of the sect system, like I showed you. So now um, we'll hit F9 once again. And since we're at the edge of the system, we're just going to turn around and get the heck out. Once we hit 0.6 uh, sublight speed, we hit uh, the hyperspace, and we get a move on. And now, as you see, while we're moving, the clock is also moving. So, um, probes haven't reached their destination yet, but they will. No planets here either. That's sad. All right, let's go down here. Um, we're selecting our first target, which is the system. Second target, which is the edge. You know. Now, you don't have to be in the main screen when you hit the engines. That's just what I like to do. You can totally hit the engines while you're still in the map. And that's fine. And then you'll see yourself moving across the map. You also see the probes doing their thing. Ah, there's one planet over there. We'll have to check that out in a minute. Lots of systems with no planets. That's fine. Ah, we found a planet here. Now, I wanted to do it this way because I wanted to show you a trick that I learned early in my own playthrough of the game. So we have a planet right there. It's an ice planet. Um, and we could plot our course here if we wanted to. Um, using the targeter, we could, but that will take a little time to manually make our way over there. So what you want to do, this is a little trick, uh, you want to go to the nav map, you want to target the system you're in. And then you want to target where you want to go, the planet, for example. What you will do is warp out and back into the system much closer to the target than you are currently. And that'll put you right next to it, and then you can orbit and everything. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so we're going to hit, we're going to hit our engines. As you'll see, we'll warp out and back in, in close proximity to the planet. <clears throat> we warped out right back in, but as you see, we are right next to the planet. Yes, we want to orbit. Now we're scanning a planet. No, we don't. Well, I'll show you the map, I guess. This will be more important later when you do invasions, the planetary map. Uh, but right now, it's just kind of, you know, it's kind of neat. You got to rank up to do invasions. Um, so that's how you get to a planet. Now, we saw a planet in another system. Uh, over here, we saw this planet. Oh, by the way, the probes are all done their job, so we can destroy them. Probes, launch control, and then if you want to detonate one individual probe, you select it and then hit D, but you can also hit Shift D, and you can detonate all the probes. And then you'll load some new probes. Um, so you start with 10 probes, five in the launch bay, as you see, see sensor probes on the, on the right here, SN, SR probes, uh, on the right. You start with 10 probes, um, five in the launch bay and five, uh, in the supply bay. And then when you launch them and then destroy them, it loads the other, it loads the other probes. So now we have five left. Um, now we're going to set a course for this other planet we discovered. Real quick, uh, we're gonna use the targeter. So we set the system as our first target, which is our regional target. And then we select the planet as our secondary or system target, target two. Once that's set, we hit our engines. I'm gonna break 
the ship, uh, the your helmsman or woman, helmsperson, is going to set a course for the closest edge of the system, which is what they're doing right now. And uh, once we get out of the system, you can see the closest edge is on the y-axis, so that's why we're going that way. Uh, once we're out of the system, we'll engage the hyperdrive. Head to our next system. And in a moment, we will come out right next to the planet. Well, not right next to, but just a few, just a short distance away. All right, we've reached our target. We are going to orbit. Now that is a lovely planet. Tech 1, Primitive Nomads, which means they might have some settlements. Um, yeah, see, see the X's right there? There's four quote-unquote cities. Um, the, three of them are hard to see because they're kind of orange. But again, those will come in, those will come in more use later when you do invasions. Um, and, and planetary bombardments and whatnot, which we're not going to talk about right now. And they're not really cities because they're primitive nomads. They're like villages. But, um, so that's, that's basic navigation, moving within a system, moving from one system to the other, and basic probe usage. So that's what I wanted to cover in this particular tutorial. In the next tutorial, the game has a basic navigation tutorial that's covered in the training manual. That's what we're going to go through in the next tutorial. Um, and then we'll have covered the basics of navigation. Uh, so as always, if you have any questions about how any of this works, uh, please hit me up in the comments. Uh, I want to thank you for your time and thank you for your interest in Starfleet 2. And uh, we'll see you for the next video. Bye-bye.